Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to Monster Tamer News, the segment on this channel where we go over the past week's developments in the world of monster taming. This week we've had the recent Digimon Con, which I'm sure if you've been following my channel the last couple days, you'll sort of know my opinions on. We had the new update for Coromon, which allows you to switch your Coromon's appearance to disalign it from its actual potential. We've got the return of level 5 in the West, and what sort of implications that could hold for the Yokai Watch franchise, potentially a Brazilian monster taming game that's currently in the works, though I don't know if there's an English con confirmation for that just yet, and a whole lot more. So as per the usual, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive in. Okay, so first things first, and I know we went over this last week, but the Lumentail Kickstarter has officially ended, and they were able to raise 161,000 euros, which absolutely crushed their initial 75,000 euro goal. Despite us not reaching the stretch goal that would include the trading and PvP features, the developers have stated that they will try their best to include them regardless, and personally, I think that trading is something to prioritize a lot more over PvP, just because with trading, you don't really need a super active player base, as two friends could just go online at any time to trade, whereas with PvP, most of the time you'll be wanting to battle random people to sort of test your skills on the ladder and if the servers are not active like we see with a lot of fully released monster taming games in the indie scene then a lot of development time and resources will be for naught. Either way the feature is nice to have and it's good to see that they're still committing to at least trying to make it work. The cassette piece demo is live once again this week and this week only for those that want to check it out. It is the demo that came out previously for a single week so no new content on it unfortunately but still cassette piece is a game that you should definitely be looking Looking forward to and if you haven't played the demo just yet go download it on their steam page it's free so you got nothing to lose i've already put out a couple videos about the demo so if you're interested in seeing how it plays or the shiny system definitely check it out it's some pretty interesting stuff digimon con 2023 came and went and with it we received essentially the same trailer we already got for digimon world next order and a simple guide on some of the basic mechanics if you've seen the last two videos i've put out regarding digimon con 2023 you'll know that i personally wasn't really vibing with it because I felt like a large portion of the Digimon fandom was left out with this event that presumably is supposed to be exciting for all Digimon fans as they stated but nevertheless we did receive the announcement of Digimon Seekers as well which by the looks of it will be a web novel a series of trailers and a vital bracelet dim expansion and if you want to learn more about that you can check out the last two videos I put out which will be linked below but there's not a whole lot of stuff to look forward to if you're into the video games or anime to be quite honest the Adore developers announced that they'll be leaving early access soon that being said they will actually be updating the game even sooner for early access players on steam to what will be basically the full version and then we'll release the official 1.0 sometime this year but with no concrete date this will be coming to consoles and pc which is pretty cool if you haven't checked out the game by now i do recommend doing so it's a ton of fun and we'll definitely be checking out that full version update when it launches okay so there's this brazilian monster taming game in the works right now and i'll be honest with you guys the entire video is in portuguese so i can't really understand what's going on on, but I do want to put a spotlight on it here. I've gotten a few offers from some of you guys to actually translate it, but for now, I just wanted to make sure it's known. It's called Bag Dex and is being developed by Dumativa Studios. I probably butchered that. What you're seeing on screen was taken from the announcement on their YouTube channel, which I will leave linked below, but for now, I just wanted to sort of show you guys that this project exists, and I will be looking into getting more information, so stay tuned for that in a future, more comprehensive video. I am hoping it does eventually get some sort of English confirmation, because because if not, I can't really see myself covering it beyond the surface level here it is type content that you're seeing now due to that language barrier. Quickly before we head into the rapid fire news, the patch quest developer actually put out a new trailer to celebrate the full access launch on Steam in a few weeks. Let's check it out.
All right, next up, we're gonna get into the rapid fire news for those updates that don't need lengthy explanations. First things first, Paleo Pines has been confirmed to be coming to both PC and consoles at some point this year. No date just yet. Next, while not monster taming specific, Level 5 was seen confirming more Western titles at Nintendo Direct after dropping their Western support a few years ago and recently bringing it back. This makes me really hopeful for a Yokai Watch 4 Switch translation, but we have no confirmation for that just yet. I may put a video out talking about why this game should come to the West and hopefully we can kind of spread that video and try to get level 5's attention in order to see if we can make that happen. Coromon had a recent update dubbed the Bake a Cake update where you can now change the appearance of your Coromon to match a different potential variants regardless of its actual potential. My buddy Barry put out a guide discussing it on his channel so if you want to learn more about it check him out linked below. They've also put out a merch store that sells various Coromon items not really gaming related but I thought I'd mention it. Check out their discord server for more information on that. Next up we got some Mon showcases. Firstly we got a new one for Super Auto Battlemon, a new Buddy for Buddymon, a new Sentius for Sky Climbers, a new Step Form for Gremlin, some VFX upgrades for Biomancer, a new gameplay clip for Pal World. Here we get a look at Melog, a disc creature that will be present in Abomination via their crossover update. We got some screenshots of a mangrove forest in Zokai, the final starter evolutions, yes, there's two, for the Earth Starter and Anode Heart, a new monster for Mirrored Soul, and finally, last but not least, a look at the evolution sequence in Dokimon. And there you go guys, a pretty interesting week overall. I'm personally hoping that this Digimon Seekers project becomes something that extends to the video games and anime, but I won't hold my breath on that. But I am really excited about the future updates for Cassette Beast and Lumintel, especially with Cassette Beast coming out soon and Lumintel having just had a successful Kickstarter. I'm expecting them to take a break from the crazy amounts of updates they've been putting out for a bit, but once things start to become a routine, I'm looking forward to seeing the development on that. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you're most looking forward to, and don't forget to subscribe for daily monster teaming videos. You can also check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon linked below. And just wanted to say special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Dro Ghost, Dark Persona, and Exodus. And we'll see you next time. Peace.